If you're not opening more than 85% of the Hot Wheels that you buy, then you need to hear this. In this video, I'm going to show you and explain exactly why it's far more important to lean more towards classing yourself as a Hot Wheels collector. And I'll tell you precisely why other people that I class as Hot Wheels investors are very important to real collectors like you and I. I'm super hyped to show you what's inside this box as I purchased all six cars from the Hot Wheels Silver Label Vintage Racing Club set. Plus, I picked up three other epic Hot Wheels premiums that I can't wait to show you. You're not going to want to miss any of this, so buckle up because back with another unboxing video, let's crack open some more Mattel products and enjoy Hot Wheels outside of their packaging. I'm really looking forward to showing you what's inside this box and I'm super excited to show you how this company packages each order for their customers because if you've watched my other Amazon Japan videos, this is not just a couple of pieces of brown paper and this is definitely the standard that I like to see from proper die cast online retailers. Let's crack this one open and I'll show you what's inside. It's always great to see lots of great quality packing peanuts or foam peanuts. Let me know what you call these foam products in the comments. And as we dig our way down, removing the top layer, you can see two packages safely protected by lots of bubble wrap. Okay, so judging by what I can see through the bubble wrap, I suspect that inside this one will be all six cars from the Hot Wheels Silver Series Vintage Racing Club. Here's the Corvette, then we have the Mercedes, the 6 of 6 Chase Camaro, this super cool gold Lambo, and the last car in this package is the super cool green Porsche 911. But that means that I was only sent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cars and that we're missing the number 3 of 6 BMW, which should hopefully be in our second package. Let's place all 5 cars at the top here so that we can admire them whilst we open the second package from my order. Let me know in the comments if you think that this is the right amount of bubble wrap or if you know of a better method that you prefer more. I've really, really been looking forward to getting my hands on this 2017 Acura NSX. I'm super happy that a Hot Wheels investor hung on to this one so that we can open this car in today's video. Okay. So, crisis averted, and here is the number 3 of 6 BMW. I also picked up this premium Toyota, and for everyone who's curious, here's the card art so that you can see all 5 cars that were in this set. Plus, I did pick up this pop culture Hot Wheels premium Nissan concept car, which I will open at the end of this video. I paid £35 for my set of six cars from the 2024 Hot Wheels Silver Series Vintage Racing Club, which means that in total for this online order, which included free mainland UK shipping, I paid a total of £64 exactly, which converts to these three amounts in these three currencies. I've read loads of comments online recently about everyone saying that they picked up these cars in 7-Eleven stores based in America, which means that I'm super stoked to be able to get my hands on all six cars from this set living in the United Kingdom. Let's crack open this super cool Mercedes-Benz to find out if these cars feel like any other Hot Wheels basic or if Mattel have gifted these cars a better build quality as well as a lot of aesthetically pleasing tampos, especially to the front and the rear, as we don't see that very often on basic cars. I will say that this Mercedes does feel super light, and the quality of the wheels just feels like any other basic car. Let's throw this one onto the turntable and take a closer look. Welcome to this super cool Silver Series Mercedes-Benz 300 SL all in white. Famous for its gullwing doors, 
This is the coupe version, which was fitted with a three liter straight six engine and rocks a four speed manual gearbox. For anyone who is curious to learn more about those crossed out headlights, that is in fact a small modification detail added to the headlights of race cars to minimize the potential amount of glass that would be sprayed onto the racetrack in the event of a crash. Let's crack open this super cool powder blue Corvette with its epic looking brown leather interior. Here's a quick look at the back of the packaging for everyone who's curious to see. The Corvette does feel slightly heavier than the Mercedes, so I'll be super interested to see if this car has a full metal base. The powder blue paint against the contrasting brown interior fits perfectly together and gives this car a realistic vintage racing car appearance. It's great to see a lot of aesthetically pleasing silver series level tampos on this casting and this is exactly what I like to see from a set that's quality is meant to sit recognizably above the main line basic range. Don't sleep on this Corvette and it does in fact have a super cool Zamac base. I would definitely love to see an awesome custom wheel swap for this casting. Car number two of six is this 1955 Corvette. The C1 Chevrolet Corvette was first introduced in 1953. This 1955 model offered a 4.3 litre VA engine as an option. We last saw this casting in 2023 as car number one of eight in this Corvette 70th anniversary series, which looked like this. Okay, so I just put the Corvette here and let's move on to the super cool BMW 2002. If you don't know already, I am a self-confessed BMW fanboy. So I'm super excited to crack open this one and take a closer look at the newly released Hot Wheels C5 wheels for this casting. The BMW 02 series is a range of sporty compact executive cars produced by German automaker BMW between 1966 and 1977. I will say, I think the three colours used in the BMW Motorsport stripes would have looked much better on this casting. Welcome to the insanely stunning BMW 2002. Rocking the same wheels as the Corvette, but this time with five additional silver spokes added to the design. The first premium version of the 2002 was this 11 of 18 Hot Wheels Heritage version in silver which was released by Hot Wheels back in 2015. The successor to the 2002 or BMW 2002 is the E21 BMW 3 Series. Moving on to this super cool gold Lamborghini Miura SV. We have seen this casting many times released in mainline cases in blue and orange. The Miura is the world's first ever supercar which was manufactured between 1966 until 1973. This particular Lambo is not just a car, this is actual history. I really like the flat gold paint used for this casting, although in hand we're back to another plastic base, which means that this one feels very light and more like a basic car. Let's throw this gold Lambo on the turntable and I'll tell you more about it. Car number four of six is this super cool flat gold 1971 Lamborghini Miura SV. This casting was first released by Hot Wheels in 2019. And although we do have a super treasure hunt and ID variant for this Lambo, we're still waiting for a premium release with a metal base and real rider wheels. I know that lots of my fellow diecast collectors are super excited to get their hands on this Porsche 911. And now that I have this casting in my hand, it does look even more epic in real life. So let's crack this one open and take a closer look. There's so much to enjoy about this particular green 911. And I also like that this one has the same wheel design as the BMW. Although super lightweight with its plastic base, Let's throw this casting on the turntable and I'll tell you more. This beautiful 1971 Porsche 911 is car number five of six in the vintage racing club set 
and looks amazing in green with its contrasting white plastic base. Rocking the same C5 five spoke wheels as the BMW, let me know in the comments which car wore these newly released wheels the best. One of the coolest premium versions of this Hot Wheels 911 is this Door Slammers release from 2020. But most recently, we saw this casting in orange with the same C5 wheels in this Silver Series Porsche release. Okay, so I'll just place the Porsche here and then we'll move on to the star of the show. I can't wait to crack open this super cool red metallic Chevrolet Camaro. As again, after reading loads of comments online, I'm super excited to check out the fully functioning opening hood detail on this one. You'll have to leave me a comment and let me know how much this casting is now selling for on eBay. And if you're still having trouble picking this one up in a store near you. Okay, so let's pop this open. Nice, that's so cool. This one feels much heavier and more like a premium car. In fact, if there ever was a more perfect candidate for a wheel swap, it's this one. Our final vintage racing club release is this 1967 Camaro. Sporting the same wheel design as the Lambo, except this time as a two-tone black and white design. Hot Wheels first released this Camaro casting all the way back in 1983, which featured a super cool opening functional hood. And I'm super happy that this vintage racing club Camaro can do this. Hot Wheels retooled the Camaro in 2017 to have a non-functional hood, so it's amazing to see that this 6 of 6 car in this silver series set has been gifted this epic feature. I mean, just look at it. That's so, so cool. And Hot Wheels need to release more Silver Series label cars like this with functioning hoods as they look stunning. Hot Wheels have done a fantastic job of making this car super special as there's just so much right about its design that I can see why Hot Wheels thought it would be fun to make this one a chase vehicle and stir things up a bit in the diecast community. And you know what? I can totally respect that. Hello, my name is Custom and you're watching Custom Collect. I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you that have ever smashed like on one of my videos. Thank you to everyone who's ever shared one of my videos with another fellow diecast collector and helped to grow this channel. I posted my first video on December the 1st 2023 and now this diecast journey has reached over 500 legendary subscribers so if you haven't done so already then hit subscribe and let's get this channel firing on all cylinders as we race towards 1000 awesome diecast collectors that enjoy the best hobby on this planet get ready to witness all six cars from the hot wheels silver series vintage racing club going head to head in one epic drag race to find out which car is the fastest. In race one and in lane one is the Mercedes, in lane two the Corvette, in lane three is the BMW and in lane four is the gold Lambo. Everyone hits the loop. Oh, and it's the gold Lambo that pops a huge wheelie to fly into first place. The Corvette catches the BMW to steal second place, which means the BMW finished in third place. And that means that unfortunately, the white Mercedes is knocked out from this competition. The fourth car added into race two is this green Porsche 911. Let's mix things up for the second race. In lane one this time is the gold Lambo, in lane two, the BMW, in lane three, the Porsche, and in lane four, the Corvette. Everyone hits the loop. 
Oh, and the gold Lambo is unstoppable and finishes in first place again. The BMW just beats the Corvette to finish in second place this time. The Corvette in third, and that means that finishing two business days later and knocked out from the competition is the Porsche 911. Replacing the Porsche in our final race is the epic red Camaro. Mixing things up again, in lane one is the Camaro, in lane two, the Corvette, in lane three, the super fast gold Lambo, and in lane four is the BMW. Everyone hits the loop. The gold Lamborghini is absolutely unstoppable and takes first place again. The BMW just steals second place. The Camaro finishes in third, and that means that in last place this time is the Corvette. In one final bonus race, and in lane one, is this blue mainline Lamborghini Miura, and in lane three is this mainline Porsche 911. Let's find out which Lambo and which Porsche is the fastest in the final drag race for today's video. Everyone hits the loop. Oh, and that sneaky gold Lambo is gonna finish in first place again, winning every single race today, and finishing in third place, defeating the vintage club Porsche 911 was the mainline version. Let's release some more Hot Wheels from their packaging, and I'll tell you how much I paid for these three. The Toyota was seven pounds, which is this in these currencies, the pop culture Nissan Concept was also seven pounds, and I paid 15 pounds for this race day Acura NSX, which equates to this in these three currencies. Without really meaning to, this Hot Wheels Premium Toyota 2000 GT was selling for a very reasonable seven pounds online, so when I placed my order for everything that you've seen in the video so far, I had to grab this one, and interestingly, it won't be too long until we see this Toyota again, as it will be featuring as car number two of five in the second set of Vintage Racing Club, which will look like this. This premium car right here is from the Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture Toyota set of five cars, which was released in 2021. With its super cool Zamac base and decked out with just the right amount of racing-like tampos, this casting is actually super underrated, and I highly recommend that all of my fellow diecast collectors add this one to their collection if you haven't done so already. Hot Wheels first released this Toyota 2000 GT casting back in 2013. If you are a veteran Hot Wheels collector, then let me know in the comments if you own this awesome 2015 RLC release and if you're now even more stoked to see the Vintage Racing Club release for this Toyota in 2024. I've been really looking forward to getting my hands on this Nissan Concept 2020 Vision GT. So let's crack open this brand new gold label Hot Wheels Premium Entertainment Series release for Gran Turismo. This is definitely one of those Hot Wheels that looks so different locked up in its packaging and now that we have this car in hand, it's so cool to see how Mattel did such an awesome job with the design. I really like the front and rear end design of this casting in particular, and feel like the wheel design choice for this one is perfect. We first saw this casting in a slightly different silver color released in 2016 that looked like this. Let me know in the comments if you think that the Nissan Vision GT is a pass or a grab in your opinion. You can definitely expect to see this car being launched down the drag loop in one of my future videos, and you'll have to let me know which other three cars you'd like to see going head to head with this futuristic concept car. Wow. This car is amazing. It brings me so much joy to think that somebody originally bought this product and has sat on it since 2017. Only ever being able to enjoy looking at this car in its packaging. I mean, if you like this casting a lot, then you should definitely buy two. 
or maybe three. Today, we're setting this 2017 Race Day Acura NSX free from its packaging. And the truth is, in a moment, we will be the first ones to ever lay our eyes on the left-hand side of this car right here. This casting might well be a new top 10 favorite in my collection. I'll be looking to get my hands on this Acura NSX GT3 in the future, as I'm 100% going to expand on collecting more Advan livery Hot Wheels to add to my diecast collection. Admittedly, now that I have this casting in my hand, I think it's the wheel design for this casting that lets its design down slightly. Leave me a comment and let me know which Advan Hot Wheels release is your favorite and if this showcase has inspired you to collect more Hot Wheels like this one. Welcome to the 2017 Race Day Premium release for the Acura NSX. Dressed up in the classic red and black Yokohama brand Advan Wheels livery, Hot Wheels first released this casting all the way back in 2008. The real world North American Acura NSX was manufactured between 1990 until 2005 and its largest engine rocked a 3.2 litre which put out 290 horsepower. Avid Hot Wheels fans will know that we saw this casting super recently in this J Imports Silver Series 2024 release which looked like this. Sadly, this casting doesn't have the awesome front splitter and rear diffuser, but still looks super cool. Have I inspired you to crack open more of your Hot Wheels in the future? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And whilst you're there, you can also let me know where you found your number six of six Chase Camaro out in the wild. And if you're going to be opening it or looking at it in its packaging forever. If you would like to watch another one of my unboxing videos and find out how your diecast collection could benefit by purchasing Hot Wheels from Amazon Japan, then I suggest you check out this video right over here. Appreciate each and every one of you watching. I'll see you in the next one and stay lucky fellow diecast collector.